Hi everybody. It's not so much what you can read about Tori Birch. There's a lot that has been written about her, her skyrocket uh, fame through Oprah Winfrey, the hard work that she did before Oprah Winfrey, and the fact that she's able, uh, collection after to collection, to merchandise the collection in such a way that is so saleable and what's called accessible uh, to um, the American woman, the Japanese woman, soon to become the South American woman, the global woman. Now, does this come from her travels? Does it come from the fact that she spends, uh, the, the aesthetic comes from Southampton and then it comes to Fifth Avenue, but in any event it is covetable and accessible. There are dozens of boutiques, there are over 500 specialty and department stores where you can find the Tory Birch brand, the logo. Um, However, what I found was that even though we can relate to her um, w with a logo or oh, maybe even color somehow we associate things, it's really how she uh, is in, in the way that she takes something as far away as Marrakesh and she brings it into something French and then she brings it into American Beachside. I mean, how she is able to edit herself and still stay what's called still stay true to um, uh, to the brand, I, I, I find extremely fascinating. Her uh, her everyday life is uh, fascinating. Her inspirations are simply fascinating. She creates moods around. Uh, a woman's aesthetic, she creates moods around geography. Uh, she um, is actually has beautiful videos on YouTube that describe uh, much better than I could really who she is and 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 she wears uh, um, she wears Tory Birch in such a, a, a as it would be described such an authentic way. but she knows, for instance, I, I was looking to see about the two most recent boutiques that were open, one on Bond Street and one in Rome, and somehow she's able to be the Bond Street woman. And then of course then she goes to Milan and, and, and somehow she's able to magically put windows together that do represent um, the Italian aesthetic with her brand. I find her uh, one of the most fascinating people that I've studied. Of course I've been very familiar with the Riva Ballerina uh, 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 slipper. Um, most of us are. Uh, you know, it's everywhere and every color. No reason not to have a pair. Uh, you know, she's priced things so that um, you can uh, find yourself with, with a pair. She has tremendous following now in um, in Asia. And um, the Double T logo, I think, is probably very well known. And one reason why I brought the lantern out is that uh, what appears to be very new is actually uh, rooted in things that are very old and and so how she puts her gleam on it um, I you know I, I, I rarely um, I just don't know enough uh, enough about her um, to find out where this is now where, where the I mean we all know where it comes from but it's like how far can you take it um, I'm very excited to do more research on um, the people that she's surrounded by, such as her decorator uh, working on her house um, in Southampton, and then of course he was assigned to do the flagship store, if I'm not mistaken, that's going to be opening up in August. And so as we uh, work alongside um, each other at the Beauty Bubble. Um, we're just going to talk more about Tory Burch. If you like Tory Burch and you'd like for me to discover something more about her line, please let me know and comment below. And uh, But I put together this um, very tiny vignette 
uh, that seem to me just in a five minute uh, uh, grab this, grab that, uh, to uh, at least uh, put the frame together uh, to discuss Tory Burch. Tory Burch, thank you very, very much uh, for the collections that you bring us. I went through, uh, I think it was uh, six years, uh, since uh, about six years worth of uh, research. And I believe that the col first collection that I looked at was a 2006 collection uh, that Style.com has um, uh, uh, beautifully archived for you. And so tonight is our series on Tory Birch, and uh, we look forward to the fall collection um, in the stores. And I know every uh, one that is a Tory Birch fan will be wearing Tory Birch for spring and summer. And so we say goodbye to you, and we'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye.